first, a poem must be magical. The musical as a seagull. It must be magical enough to allure the reader's hearts and minds. It must have that sublime feeling and be filled with nostalgia to make the readers once again feel the emotions that are almost forgotten. It must have a little press to the readers, a quick traverse to a place that's long for. Musical as a seagull, something melodically good but has never been heard by our senses before. It must be rare to find a gem that could offer nothing less but everything more from its lines. It must be brightness moving and hold secret a bird's flowering. It must be as bright as how the sun shines in the morning, indicating a full day of hope and happiness rather than representing something dark and gloomy. Not at a constant state, but instead continuously fascinating and appealing to the readers. A poem which soars like a bird, with every spread of wings welcomes us into a whole new, different world, disguising as words put together on a sheet of paper. Or maybe a hatching egg, simply bringing an offspring to the face of a new perspectives and outlooks, which contributes to the whole being of a person as he blooms. It must be slender as a bell, and it must hold fire as well. A poem has been known to be full of figurative language. However, too much of it could only ruin a supposedly good composition. It must be slender as a bell, constructed only with significant words that may not make sense at first glimpse, but could make a heart punch when realized. It must hold fire, the soul of words and its eternal strength which plays an important role in leading the readers to the path of clear pictures and sentiments to where they are meant to be. It must have the wisdom of bows, and it must kneel like a rose. It must have the wisdom of bows, which could be something that represents a whole. It could mean archery, Otherwise, it's solely a bow. Anyhow, an excellent archer with a great bow, assumed to possess wisdom, perfectly guides an arrow towards its intended target. With that, a poem must possess intellect for it to get a clear shot to which it is aimed. So much like a beautiful poem, it never gets wrong. A poem must kneel like a rose. However, a poem shows beauty, and it must be like a rose, which is lovely despite having concealed strength in the form of thorns, kneels as if it's submitting itself, implying humility. As the poem are popular with metaphors and figurative language, therefore, it must be able to conceal what the words are meant to mean, for it is what makes an accomplished poem. Others use words that do not reveal their true meaning, but rather underpinnings behind them. While its messages are not entirely visible, they also must not be hidden to the extent of being forgotten. Like how a bride could attract attention, a poem must also be the same in drawing readers to uncover the truth hidden behind the chosen words in every line. And overall, I would like to hover God, smiling from the poem's cover. 
the mentioning of God in the poem shows the allusional sense of it. Poems are described as magical as it hiddens the message entirely on the words and lines. It means that yes, it hides the true meaning, but if you uncover the meaning of it, you will be astonished and astounded. The poems led people to confuse the readers with that what it means, but even though that it's hard, it would certainly be worth it. It must be able to hear the luminance of dove and deer. It does not have ears, but must be able to hear. A good poem must show sensitivity and awareness towards its readers while it directs and communicates with them through more than metaphors and imagery. It must illuminate how dove and deer symbolizes peace and tranquility. The poem conveys a powerful message. It is patronized in such a way that they become magical, considering that every word is full of mysteries. It is delicate, yet sufficiently able to penetrate through our spirit.